Welcome back. You finally figured out we have nobody in the studio audience. We have awesome people joining us from all over, all over the country. There they are up there. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, it's no secret I'm a gearhead. Love classic cars, motorcycles. My next guests are also gearheads, but a different mode of transportation. This one's with two wheels instead of four. They're the founders of the East Side Riders Bike Club, an organization that promotes bicycle riding in South Central L.A., and that's just a piece of what they do. Their biggest purpose is to help feed the homeless and help kids stay out of gangs. They're what we call good neighbors. Good, good, so good. Good neighbor. Please welcome the founders of East Side Riders Bike Club, John Jones III and his father, John Jones Jr. Okay. Gentlemen, thanks. Nice to have you. Now, this starts with your connection to bikes over, what, 50 years ago? Tell yes, us sir. about this. How did yeah. this come about? Oh, as a kid, you know, in the neighborhood, we had, well, we did a lot of other things, baseball, basketball. Sure. But bicycle was something that we took because we had, that was our transportation to get around. Right, right. As time went on, that's when the gangs started coming in. And so it was certain places that we could ride to that we didn't have to worry about nothing and other places we didn't ride to because we know what would happen. Right. You know? And uh, as time went on, so drug era came out. Right, right. You know, and I got involved in selling drugs and did a couple of bids in the pen, you know. Really? Yeah, and the second time around to prison, I started thinking about it. I got children at home. This is not an example that I want to set for them. So as time went on, I got out, started working, and after a while, we started a bike club. But you wanted to have a bigger purpose as well, right? T tell us about this. Yeah, so part of, the, part of um, bringing the bike club in was um, my, my mom, she used to feed people in our yard. She used to um, always put together backpacks for school, right. um, shoe boxes for Christmas. Um, those things made me want to bring, you know, everything that she taught us as kids into the organization. So I told my dad, you know, let's do this. Not only are we going to do this with uh, giving back, but it will also give us a chance to grow our relationship as father and son from the years that uh, we missed um, yeah. during the years when he was when he was. And on how vacation. many years did you miss? How, your dad was gone from your age from when to when? Uh, man, it was in and out from from uh, I, I can't really remember how yeah. you know a young but, boy to a teenager. That's yeah, fair to yeah, say. Yeah, young boy okay. to a teenager, and then uh, you know got him got him in my teenage years. Well, let's take a look at some of the bikes in the club and how, how people customize them. Can we show these. Uh, what do we have here? Photos. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. You got the rims and all That's that. Long Beach. Yeah, yeah. It's Long Beach, right there. That's us. Uh, Long Beach nights. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's me having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Well, tell, tell us about the range of the bikes you see in the club. So our bikes are, are, are a range of all kind of, kind of bikes. You know, when we was kids um, and we started this organization, and I say kids, you know, I was 28 when we started right. this organization. So you were 28 before you got your first bike? <laughs> 28 when I got my first bike from this young man. So you right hit here. puberty at 26? <laughs> <laughs> so around there, right? Um, the late bloomer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, um, I put the, we, 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 we put the bikes together in the backyard um, with the neighbors, um, bringing kids from the community to learn how to fix the bikes using their hands. Right. And uh, now we, we have a, a, a good a range of bikes where it's road bikes, it's low rider bikes, right. it's gear bikes, it's, it's, it's uh, electric bikes. So we're able to bring... Electric bikes too. So bikes. it doesn't have to be all pedal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now your club has evolved into something else as well. So you also do a ton of work. Uh, with kids, and they have a name for you. What's the name? Uh, they call me Pops. Pops. Some of them call me Grandpa, but you know, it's like these kids, man, they bring so much joy. You yeah. Know, when I see them, because I used to say, that was me. With this club, we're helping them not yeah. to get in games. Right. Not to do drugs, yeah. not to sell drugs. And you welcome riders of all ages, right? You get all ages. We try to get, um, we want. We want to get the kids. We want to get the kids because we don't want them in drugs right. and, and gangs. But we also want to bring in whole families. If right. we're teaching the parents how to ride the bikes, that's going to make them better drivers and look out for cyclists on the streets. But it's also going to help the kids see that their parents is, is participating in the activity with them. We've also found uh, four members of their club. Uh, they're on the line right now. They're all sisters. Say hi to Shay, Char, Emma, and Bella. Did I say that right, you guys? <laughs> Shay, what's it like to be part of this bike club? Being part of this organization, the Eastside Riders, has been an amazing opportunity, and it's been eye-opening. I probably wouldn't have known about half the stuff that I know about now, and we're getting out, we're helping the community, cleaning up, making Watts look great. We're opening up our Compton location, which, that's amazing, because we're helping more people, we're reaching out a lot more. We've been doing 
fruit and vegetable boxes for the families in need. And we're hoping to get more people out so we get more bike rides because this pandemic is keeping everyone inside. Oh, no, that's great. Now, you, now you're doing something every parent, I think, will appreciate. Getting the kids to put something down. What is that? Our cell phones. Because our uh -huh. parents want to enjoy the world even more because we've been inside all this time because the pandemic, doing our work and looking at our screens, and they just want us to go out and get some fresh air and get off of our phones. Yeah, well, hell yeah, that's great. I think that's terrific. So, so, so what do you both like most about this? My favorite part of that is that without Eastside Riders, I would have never learned how to ride a bike. Without Eastside Riders, um, I like what I like about Eastside Riders is riding my bike and helping the less fortunate. Now, John, let me ask you this. When it comes to young people, you have another big goal. What is that? Yeah, one of, one of the goals is just like that, you know, um, bringing kids together in the community. The other one is getting kids together and ready for the uh, 2020 eight Olympics. Um, they're going to be right here in Los Angeles. Hopefully we can have one or two kids share that stage. Um, um, oh, that'd be great. World. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. cool. Oh, that'd be terrific. Shay, anything you want to say to John and, and John Jr. or Pops? <laughs> I just really want to say thank you for all the opportunities and everything that you've given us. We've gone so far from where we started when we first rode with this organization. We've helped clean up so many different communities made the environment a lot better. And well, you've made our family a lot better. So we just want to say thank you and we love you so much. Well, see, there you go. It can't get better than that, guys. Thank now, you guys. we love everything you guys are doing and uh, for the community and whatever, and help keep it going on behalf of the Caleb Cochran Show. We're giving the East Side Riders Bike Club. We want to give you $5,000 to keep the thing going. So there you go. I have to cut a lot of lawns for that. <laughs>